I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. You are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Shadows, your sword is useless here. to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. They always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, no they please. won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't listen Do you to see them. them? Do you see their faces? Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it?
She'll have to go under. She can't. She has to. She can't. The torch will go out. She has she can do it. I can't do it. The light's gone out. Run! Run! Get through it as quick as you can! The panic is on! The dragon Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man will want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Rain the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin, 
Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces, and so Rayan reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafnir. Thank <laughs> you. 
go anywhere without your light. Take the torch and move. She escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Tilly.
The beast is down there. No. No. She knows the beast is down there. She's He's always watching you. Finish it! Finish it! Strike it! Yeah. Yeah. 
She listened to him, trying to help her. He was trying to save her from the darkness. Zimbo was right. Zimbo was trying to save her from the darkness. But she wouldn't listen to And now everybody is dead because of her. Oh, her fault. All her fault. Weak. <laughs> she should have known. She should have thought. Why doesn't she learn? She well, she learns. She doesn't understand. Now the darkness has Dillian's soul. And it will take it. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafner's gold all for himself. Rayan also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafner's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. The beast has not learned to be more than he's using it. Once she gets down there, she'll never come out. It's luring her down. The dark